my final victim is Toastmaster Gopinath. He's been volunteering everyone else, so now we'll volunteer him. As simple as that. Sure. And Toastmaster <laughs> Gopinath, your topic is if you had to be a self defense art. If you had to be a self defense art, what would you be and why? Wow. <clears throat> Of course, I have been a fitness freak, but the one which I trust to be the most self, the art which can, which, through which I can defend myself is speaking. Because I always say that, you no, know, words can make a millions difference. Any kind of violence taken care of. And to be honest, it so happened all along throughout my life, I have been a marketing person. I started my career as a marketing person. Now, all along, I have been a marketing person. In fact, I ended my career as a trainer. There again, ultimately, I was internally, I was a marketing man. That's what I was putting across in my training also. Because this is one art where it, you can melt any kind of mind, whether it's a hot mind, whether it's a violent mind, anywhere in the world, speaking is one of the best art which can melt mountains, which can move mountains, which can bring in changes, whatever you feel, which can be brought in. And I believe I have succeeded in many things, including fooling my own family people, making them believe that whatever I do is right. That is the art. So, to, Table topic master, the art of speaking is the best tool one can learn to defend oneself. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Gopinath. When I came up with this topic, I had a wild range of self-defense arts, but speaking definitely did not think or did not come to my mind. Amazing connect. Thank you so much for that. With that, thank you all for this opportunity. And back to the Toastmaster of the day, Toastmaster Chalakar.